Ah, you're here. It appears everyone has arrived. Last night, I visited a former servant who once worked for my family. I was able to learn the entirety of what happened all those years ago. In my great-grandfather's generation, the Ishin art was tasked with forging an important Goshinto according to an ancient forging diagram. Though all the craftsmen involved were very experienced, the process was still unsuccessful. Every blade that was forged was defective. When the deadline came, the blade still wasn't finished, so the craftsmen all fled and hid for fear of punishment. The Kaidahara clan and Yashiro Commission then conducted an investigation. My great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan eventually tracked down the craftsmen near the seaside. However, they met fierce resistance from the craftsmen, and in the end they were unable to prevent them from escaping by sea. The Kaidahara clan was severely punished for the swordsmiths that had escaped, and the family gradually fell into decline. Moreover, I heard that the head of the Kamisato clan was injured by the fleeing swordsmiths, which combined with his advanced age caused him to pass away shortly thereafter. Yes. The sudden passing of the family head left the Kamisato clan leaderless. Treacherous people took advantage of the situation and put the family status in the Yashiro Commission at jeopardy. This single incident had profound effects. Even after the position as head of the clan was passed to my father, the Kamisato clan still wasn't able to regain its prior reputation. But, thanks to my brother, everything is getting better now. The failure to forge the blade was ultimately attributed to a lack of required skill and finesse. The Kaidahara clan and the Yashiro Commission always believed that was the case. However, the story of the five Kasen seems to imply that the failure didn't stem from a lack of skill, but rather, the diagram had been tampered with by someone. Miss Kamisato, I heard yesterday that the Yashiro Commission has still kept the diagram ever since the failed forging all those years ago. Might I ask you to do me a favor? Yes, I understand. I will go back and search for the diagram. Please come meet me at the Kamisato estate later. Everyone, I've managed to find the old diagram. Hmm. Though the diagram is well preserved, you can still tell that it's seen at least three or four centuries of history. Oh, that's pretty old. Is it still possible to find any evidence of tampering? At this point, we can only try our luck and see how we fare. Although the effect is not too obvious, you can still see that some words have now started to smudge. Kazuha, this is clear evidence that this chart was indeed tampered with. Someone framed the Kaedehara clan all those years ago. I see. But I fear that I've discovered this secret too late. When my grandfather was young, he proposed reviving the Ishin art many times to my great-grandfather. But my grandfather was only scolded for being too foolhardy. Yesterday, the former family servant said that my great-grandfather even went to the Yashiro Commission to request that diagram from the head of the Kamisato clan. He then showed that diagram to my grandfather and asked him and his subordinates to try to forge the sword. 
Sure enough, my grandfather also failed. My great-grandfather then told him, If you can't find the secret within, then the Ishin art deserves to fade from the world. My grandfather left Inazuma in a rage after hearing those words. He didn't ever see my great-grandfather again, even till the day of his passing. Looking back at it now, the argument between the two of them was simply... meaningless. Oh, Kazuha. I heard that your great-grandfather was very industrious when he was young, but later in life, he no longer bothered with the forging arts. It appears that his failure took quite a toll on him. Kazuha, did your great-grandfather really say, if you can't find the secret within? Did he use those exact words? Yes. The servant said that he personally heard those words, and still remembers them very clearly. My grandfather was so angry at the time that he smashed my great-grandfather's cherished bonsai tree. Yes, it appears that you understand my meaning. Kazuha, if your great-grandfather thought that the Ishin art lacked finesse, then after witnessing his son's failure, wouldn't he have said something more along the lines of, your skills aren't sufficient? But instead he said, if you can't find the secret within, don't you find that a little strange? Huh? Oh, so you're saying my great-grandfather may have very well known that the failure was due to someone's tampering? Yes, the current evidence suggests that is highly likely. I apologize, but would you all please accompany me to the Tenryo Commission? After I became a wanted criminal, the Tenryo Commission seized my family's last remaining estate, which contained all of my family's old belongings. I want to inquire about the whereabouts of those belongings. If I can find them, we might be able to get some clues. Alright, let's get moving! What are you all doing here? Did something happen on Rito? Kujo Sara. Perhaps you still remember me. Yes, I do. You're Kaedehara Kazuha, a wanted criminal during the Vision Hunt Decree. However, your arrest warrant has since been repealed. Sara, we'd like to ask about the Kaedehara clan's property that was seized by the Tenryo Commission. Do you know where all their belongings are now? Yes. The items seized at that time are currently stored in the warehouse next to the police station. Since Kaedehara has come back to Inazuma, those items should be returned to their rightful owner. No, I'm afraid you misunderstand. I'm not here to reclaim those belongings. I just want to investigate them for a personal matter. I see. All right, I'll inform the police station. They'll take you into the warehouse. Thank you, Sara! <clears throat> Kaedehara, about the Vision Hunt Decree. That's all in the past now, Kujo Sara. There's no need to mention it again. I know you've also had your own convictions and struggles. <clears throat> However, may I ask something of you? Yes? What is it? Currently, I have no plans to stay in Inazuma. As a result, those items from my family's estate are of no use to me, Madam Kujo. 
I believe you are a person of integrity. After our investigation is over, I'd like to ask if you can handle those belongings for me. Please, sell them, and use the money to help the poor. All right, I understand. I'll be sure to take care of it. Ah, you must be here to investigate the Kaedahara clan's belongings. Well, Madam Cujo's already informed me of the situation. Please come this way. Ah, the Kaedahara clan's belongings are stored in this warehouse. Unfortunately, the items are scattered throughout in order to save space. My deepest apologies. However, I have clearly marked the corresponding items, so they shouldn't be too difficult to find. I'll be waiting for you at the door. Please, come see me if you require any assistance. Kazuha, since the items are scattered throughout the building, I propose we split up and look for clues. Yes, sounds like a plan. Thanks for your help, everyone. It's you. I'm currently investigating the sword rack. Oh, since the Kaidahara clan was a family of renowned swordsmiths, then this blade should be super valuable, right? <gasps> Maybe it's a treasure of the Ishin art! I'm afraid not. Although the sword rack is made of fine wood, the swords placed here appear to be quite ordinary. Due to the dire financial situation of the late Kaidahara clan, Everything of value has probably been sold off already. The blade on the sword hasn't been sharpened, but there are many signs of use on the hilt. Perhaps Kaidehara used it for training as a child. Let Paimon see! Oh, there seems to be a couple uneven characters etched into the scabbard. Kazu... Ha. Wow, so it really was Kazuha's! Paimon can imagine what Kazuha was like as a kid. <laughs> I will continue investigating here and call you if I find anything interesting. Oh, it's you. Unfortunately, I have yet to find anything of value here. Whoa. This folding screen looks pretty old, though. Yes. Perhaps if it were better maintained, then it could fetch a decent price. However, I doubt it could be sold in its current condition. I was taking a closer look just now and noticed a large piece of dirt caught in the fabric fibers on the back side. The soil is deeply embedded into the cloth. That means a great deal of force was used when the dirt was lodged into the cloth. It's likely that this patch of dirt is from the very flower pot thrown by Kazuha's grandfather. Because this is not what we are looking for now. Let me think. If I wanted to leave a message behind, I would probably choose to leave it on something a little more special. Huh. Albedo seems to be thinking pretty hard. We better not bother him. I found quite the pile of old books. These books here are all related to smelting steel, and these are about the process of forging blades. This pile over here is all about plants and flowers. Hmm. The books about plants and flowers must have belonged to Kazuha's great-grandfather. I skimmed through them just now, but I didn't find anything particularly worth noting. 
I shall take a closer look and let you know if I find anything. Hmm. There must be... Do you see all these pots here? Some of them are bound to have liquor inside. <laughs> right. Hey! Everyone else is trying hard to help, and you're over here looking for a drink! <laughs> I merely jest, of course. Come on, we're close to uncovering the truth now. Why do you look so worried? Well, Paimon doesn't really get why Kazuha told Sara to sell all these belongings. What if we don't end up finding anything today? Then wouldn't Kazuha lose the chance of finding out what really happened all those years ago? You know, just saying. I know you are worried about Kazuha, but if you ask me, he is stronger than you think. Since Kazuha made such a request to Sara, that indicates he's already made his choice. Whether we find out the truth or not today, or whatever it turns out to be, he's ready to accept it. No, not intuition. Rather, I've lived for a long time now, so you could say I have some experience in reading people. Leave the things here to me. You two can look around elsewhere. Everyone. I've found something that you should all have a look at. This flower pot was in my house for a long time. I heard that it was left behind by my great-grandfather. Yeah, the plants seem to have been dead for a while now. Well, after my great-grandfather stopped studying the forging arts, he picked up the hobby of keeping bonsai plants. Most of his prized plants were given to others once he became seriously ill. But he specifically left behind this dead plant at the time, and even instructed my grandfather not to throw it away in his will. My grandfather deeply regretted that he never managed to reconcile with my great-grandfather, so he left the plant exactly as it was. But now that I think about it, my great-grandfather could very well have left it behind for other reasons. It, this flower pot is kind of suspicious. Yes. Let's take a closer look, shall we? We finally found something! Uh, huh? It's only a bunch of blank paper. Do you think someone already discovered the compartment and swapped the contents? No, I do not think that is the case here. See the paper? It's quite yellowed, which means it's very old. Hmm. You mean to say that these sheets have been written with special ink? Like that which Miss Kamisato found before? Yes, I agree with this hypothesis. Okay, let's give it a dunk then! There is a pond outside the police station. I'll use the water there. Well, how did it go? Those weren't just plain old sheets of paper, were they? Just as everyone guessed, after I sprinkled some water onto the paper, writing did indeed begin to appear on it. It is a letter, written by my great-grandfather. Oh? What does the letter say? It is. I'll tell you what my great-grandfather knew at the time, but before that, I wish to take you somewhere. Everyone, please follow me. Why did you lead us to this beach? 
It is. In fact, my great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan tracked the fleeing swordsmiths to this very location. Our hypothesis was correct. My great-grandfather was well aware of the truth behind the defective blades. And it was right here where they encountered the culprit who framed the Kaidahara clan and the Raiden Gokaden. It reads, To whoever reads this letter, I, Kaidahara Yoshinori, have been held to a certain secret throughout my entire life. I don't have much longer in this world, and after much consideration, I finally decided to disclose the matter. All those years ago, when I was pursuing the swordsmiths alongside Commissioner Kamisato of the Yashiro Commission, I was not injured by one of the fleeing smiths. Rather, it was night, and after the clues led us down to shore, I waited for the culprits to show themselves. However, there were no swordsmiths in sight, only a single eccentric stranger. This stranger claimed to be the one behind the failed forgings and said that he had been patiently waiting for us. He then threatened to destroy the ride in Gokaden. That person was of able body, and in a blink of an eye, myself and the accompanying samurai had been defeated. Commissioner Kamisato was severely wounded, and I barely escaped death myself. My hat had fortunately blunted a blow to my head. The unusual stranger could have easily claimed my life at that moment. But, after noticing my appearance, he stopped his attacks and sternly asked if I had any connection with the name Niwa. I answered that it was my father's surname, and after my father disappeared, I was adopted by the Kayadahara family. Upon hearing my answer, the stranger paused. After a long silence, he suddenly said, Tell her this. My name is Kuni Kuzushi. He then turned and left. Wow. So that's what really happened. Yes. My great-grandfather and the head of the Kamisato clan escaped from death and learned that the forging diagram had been tampered with by Kuni Kazushi. However, due to the encounter, the head of the Kamisato clan was worried that my great-grandfather would be falsely accused of being involved with the perpetrator. So even on his deathbed, the master of the Kamisato clan cautioned my great-grandfather to never speak of what happened. Because the perpetrator said he would destroy the Raiden Gokaden, my great-grandfather worried that the perpetrator would still return for vengeance. So, to protect his loved ones, he closed the family business. He said, as the leader of the Kaidahara clan, I am deeply ashamed to witness the decline of the Ishin art. But as a father, it is my priority to ensure the safety of my children and grandchildren. Yes, that's right. If my grandpa had somehow discovered the secret behind the tampered diagram all those years ago, perhaps my great-grandfather would have told him the truth. Unfortunately, he failed to catch any of the hints in my great-grandfather's words. Miss Kamisato, it appears you were unaware of the happenings that my great-grandfather described here. What are your thoughts? Hmm... I suppose the reason the head of the Kamisato house never spoke of this to the family was due to similar safety concerns. If the perpetrator was capable of tampering with even the Shogun's diagrams, and could single-handedly defeat many men, then he is not an ordinary enemy. I will discuss this matter with brother shortly, and investigate the identity behind the one called Kuni Kuzushi. Rest assured, we will act cautiously. To be honest, as I read the letter, I felt much turbulence in my heart. But now I've managed to calm myself. 
My great-grandfather said in the letter that he did not wish his descendants to blindly seek revenge and be deceived by things of the past. Though he was in a tight situation when he wrote these words, I feel like they are still valid nonetheless. I think what's most important for each person is not the past, but the present. Even though we must carry the burdens from the past, there are also things we wish to strive for. Therefore, knowing the truth behind what happened is enough for me. I will live on just as my great-grandfather had hoped. That being said, if the enemy from all those years ago is still lurking and plotting to stir up more trouble, then I definitely won't turn a blind eye. These are simply insights I've gathered from all that I've experienced. Thank you all for accompanying me in my search for the truth behind that incident. Great! Now that we're done here, let's head back to Rito. of the Iridori Festival. Not only will there be Shinkyo's signing event, but Albedo's painting of Kurunushi will also be unveiled. Hello, Traveler. Paimon? Albedo, why is the portrait of Kurunushi all covered up? Paimon wants to see what your Kurunushi portrait looks like. Don't worry. The unveiling ceremony will be starting shortly. You'll see what it looks like then. I will say that I'm most satisfied with this particular work. I even made a special trip to see someone in order to complete it. They gave me some very valuable suggestions. <laughs> is that so? Anyway, there is still time before the ceremony. You may have a look around the venue first. Everyone. Hey! What are you two doing together? Don't think we didn't see you two chatting up a storm just now. The moment we came over, you stopped talking! Hmm, is that so? I'm afraid you're just overthinking things. We were merely discussing wine and food. <laughs> I'm sure you two wouldn't be interested. <clears throat> Speaking of good sides with sake, I personally prefer fried tofu. <sighs> Forget it. Even if those two are plotting something, they'd still never let us know. If you're tired from walking all around the festival, how about you sit right here and try to let you know the show? Not like that at all. Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you. Indeed it did. Thanks to you, the signing event went off without a hitch. And I must say, the readers seem most satisfied. Uh, Shinto, is it just Paimon, or are you on the lookout for something? You aren't mistaken, though I'm ashamed to admit it. But in fact, I have been on the watch for tourists from Liyue. After all, I came to Inazuma under the pretext of evaluating a potential investment. If an acquaintance were to see me sitting here, then there would be no way to hide the truth from my father. Fortunately, the crowds of readers that came flocking over have kept the usual tourists at bay. Oh, I should mention, Shu is also unaware of the real purpose of my trip. If you happen to meet him, please, remember to keep it a secret. 
Ben, please accept my thanks in advance. I'm sorry that I can't chat long. There are still readers waiting in line. I'll see you later at the unveiling ceremony for Kuronushi's portrait. Ah, greetings, traveler. Paimon. Oh, Ayato! We finally get to see the busiest person of all. Yes, there were many things which required my attention these past few days. Fortunately, the Iridori Festival is proceeding smoothly. The Tri Commission cooperated closely to prepare this festival, so at long last, I can take a break today. Brother and I are very grateful for your help. Hmm. Toma sure is taking his sweet time. Yes. Today is one of the rare occasions when Brother isn't busy. I was going to buy some books, but he said he wanted to come along. His treat. However, he forgot his wallet at home, so he asked Toma to go back and fetch it for him. Paimon didn't think Ayato could ever be forgetful like that. <laughs> Brother always works diligently, and it's rare for him to ever put his duties to the side and relax. So, Toma and I really cherish such moments when he's forgetful. I came here to take in the sea breeze. Such a bustling atmosphere is never really to my liking. <laughs> I knew you were still worried about me. Thank you, but please, don't worry. The things I said in front of everyone weren't just pretty sounding excuses. Look, see this familiar harbor in front of us? Before, you could sit here all day without seeing a single ship pass through. Instead, all you would see were soldiers from the Kanjo Commission, guarding against possible intruders. But now, it's become a bustling place. Not only are foreigners coming to Inazuma again, but traffic between here and Watatsumi Island has also been picking up. Yeah, Inazuma has already started to change, huh? I was thinking... In some ways, each and every one of us are similar to this country. It might take a different amount of time for different people, but there will inevitably come a day when each person can let go of their burdens. And when they finally let go, they are free to follow the wind as they please. It's time for the portraits and veiling ceremony. Let's head over to the Five Cossum Plaza. <laughs> Everyone, welcome to the magnificent Iridori Festival. Today, we have ushered in the final stage of our festival. And now we will reveal the final portrait of the Five Kasen, Kuronushi, which was done by none other than our guest artist from Mondstadt, Calx. Hyman has no idea what Albedo's portrait looks like. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Let's all count down together. Three, two, one. Huh? What's this? This piece depicts nothing but a background! I suppose Calx must have forgotten to include the character. <clears throat> uh, let's hear some words from Calx himself regarding the creative process behind this piece. Hello, everyone. 
First, I would like to say that it was an honor to be invited to create the portraits of the Five Kasen. The Five Kasen are legendary figures from ancient Inazuma, famous for their works of poetry. As time passed, poems were composed about them, and they became the subjects of many stories. I learned from existing sources about those stories that the character of Kuronushi is the deepest and most differing of the Five Kasen. Moreover, Kuronushi lacks a dedicated chapter among the stories. It's as if he is a behind-the-scenes role of the Five Kasen. Perhaps we can assume that every creator had a different understanding of Kuronushi. So, in the same way, I also wanted to leave this character to everyone's own imagination. After all, the Iridori Festival is a place for everyone to express their minds through creative works. Yep, that's a little for ya. His super logical explanation is sure to win everyone's approval. Well, it seems that our adventures at the Iridori Festival have come to a close. <laughs> huh? But what are you talking about? Oh. Oh, right! We still haven't figured out who left those stories of the five Kasim for us to find. Really? Come on then, who is it? Tell Paimon! Well, that makes sense. Otherwise, there'd be no way to give the right paper to the right person every time. Right. Even though they were using stories to hint us toward Shincho's troubles, the real goal was to lead us to solve the secrets of the Kaidahara clan. Oh! <gasps> Paimon gets it now. Well, at least Paimon thinks she knows. Let's go! We'll get to the bottom of this. As it just so happens, one of the reasons I'm here today is to explain the details behind this... wild hunt. Huh. Paimon wants to see how you'll explain yourself out of this one. First of all, the start of this whole incident was due to mere happenstance. You see, Lady Yai happened to catch sight of Xingqiu and the editor carrying the books away one night. She thought it was interesting, so she asked me to tease them a bit. That's right. But using the story of the Five Kasen to guide you to the Kaidahara family's secrets was my personal touch. As for my roundabout approach, well, that was something which I had no choice but to do. Yes. Due to a certain incident that occurred earlier, I happened to notice the bonsai plants left behind by Kaedehara Yoshinori, as well as the blank papers hidden inside. I knew there was more than meets the eye regarding those papers, but it took me some time to figure out the secret behind the ink, the kind that would only appear when exposed to water. What Kaedehara Yoshinori said in the letter is very important for both the Kamisato clan and the descendants of the Kaedehara clan, especially Kazuha. The Kaedehara clan used to be subordinates of the Kamisato clan. It was my ancestors who were unable to protect them all those years ago. So now... This obligation fell on my shoulders. Although he has the right to know the truth, the closer he draws to things hidden out of sight, the closer he also draws to danger. I had to confirm whether Kazuha has both the will and ability to be privy to the truth. Of course, I could outright tell him the truth that I had discovered, but maybe he doesn't have the will that's required. In that case, the truth would only become a burden to him. If he lacks the ability, then he wouldn't be able to find the truth in the first place. In which case, it would be better to keep him away from danger altogether. Kaidehara Yoshinori left his message in a roundabout way precisely for this reason. For a long time, I yearned for a suitable opportunity to convey this matter. Right up until the night when a Legend of Sword was smuggled away. Oh, Paimon gets it now! Yeah, it wasn't only Kazuo. 
Aqua, you brought all of the rest of us into this plan of yours. <laughs> I figured you would ask this question eventually. I merely saw that this matter would be of value to you. And more importantly, I hoped that while Kazuha and Ayaka were looking for the answers together, they would have some reliable friends by their side. Reliable friends who would be willing to protect them and make measured decisions. Friends who would spare no effort to lend a helping hand in times of trouble. Because it is also very likely that you will face the same enemy together in the future. You already know the answer deep down inside, don't you? The answer is actually hidden in the portrait of Kuronushi. When there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. If there is no one else near the portrait, you can confirm with your own eyes. As for the means of revealing that answer, well, you have used it many times before. Also, there's one last thing that we must discuss. I mentioned earlier that the occurrence of a certain incident made me notice the bonsai plants. I wish to tell you of that incident now. It was just after the Shogun announced the abolition of the Sokoku Decree. I heard that something had happened at the Tenryo Commission. They had discovered signs that someone had entered the warehouse storing the Commission's articles of evidence and confiscated items. But nothing was stolen. I felt something unusual about that incident, so I told Kujo Sara of the Tenryo Commission to treat it as if nothing happened. She was not to increase the guard or relocate the warehouse contents. In the meantime, I sent a member of the Shumatsuban to keep watch over the warehouse. And sure enough, someone was sneaking in and rummaging through the belongings of the Kaidahara clan. You mean... he was also looking for... <laughs> I let him search for a while, but in the end, he found nothing. Soon after, he had to leave Inazuma by boat. <laughs> the best way to protect a secret is to treat it as if it doesn't exist, is it not? Besides, the identity of this person is not hard to guess. After he left Inazuma, I carefully checked the Kaidahara clan's belongings one by one, and eventually discovered the papers in the hidden compartment of the flower pot. I am certain that the papers are the secret which the infiltrator sought to find, though he couldn't confirm whether this secret existed at all. So, now on to my final question. Which part of Kaidahara Yoshinori's experiences was the secret that needed to be protected? <laughs> I don't have an answer to this question at present, so I'll leave it to your future self. As for now, Please, enjoy yourselves at the Iridori Festival. <laughs> 